Hey Code Crew, in this one day build app series, you're going to learn how to build a YouTube app that lets users watch videos from a YouTube playlist. By the end of building this app, you'll gain a lot of new skills, such as how to work with the YouTube API using iOS networking classes, using professional tools such as GitHub and Bitrise, and a whole lot more about UI construction and Swift programming. Here's a quick glance at more concepts you'll learn. Now there's one important thing I have to mention. This one day build app series is part of a learning progression and it's meant to be done after the beginner series. So if you haven't done that yet, scroll down, click on code with Chris to visit my channel page and there you'll see the learning path. Start with the beginner series first and finish that before attempting this one day build. Otherwise you might be confused. Okay, with that said, let's dive right in. Now here is a high level overview of the YouTube app that we're going to be building. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a professional architecture diagram, but it really does the job and simplifies things so that we can clearly see what components are at play, how the data flows from one component to the next, and also we can see how the user is going to navigate from screen to screen. If it is like a, a much more complex app, then we probably have to get a little more detailed than this. So let me just break this down. It's pretty straightforward actually. We have the YouTube API on this API block up here, and we're gonna have a model class that is going to request from the API and get back JSON containing all of the videos and all of that data that we need. We're gonna parse that data into an array of video objects, which we're gonna pass back to the view controller to display in a table view. Now we are going to create a custom table view a cell so that we can download the thumbnail, we can you know modify and prettify the dates and make sure that it looks the way we want. So that's what we're gonna do uh, with a custom UI table view cell. When the user taps on one of those cells, we're gonna pass that selected video over to a detailed view controller uh, where we're gonna show the description of the video, a thumbnail of the video, and the user can tap on that thumbnail to then play the video in that detailed view controller. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Don't be fooled by how simple it is because a lot of the things that you're gonna learn from this app is applicable to apps of larger magnitudes, just it happens at a larger scale. Um, you're gonna learn how to work with APIs, how to work with JSON, um, how to do segues from one view controller to the next and pass data from one view controller to the next and there's this is just a really good, simple app to learn a lot of uh, very common techniques that you will be using in much more complex apps to come. Okay, so that's the general architecture of the app. In the last part of this short introduction, I wanna go through what to expect in the upcoming lessons. Lesson one, that's this introduction video. In lesson two, we're going to introduce and set up our tools such as GitHub, BitRise, and SwiftLint. In lesson three, we're going to set up our Xcode project. We're gonna take a look at the YouTube API. We're gonna stub out the classes and the structures that we need. And we're gonna look into downloading the data and setting up a constants file. Wow, that lesson is gonna be packed. In lesson four, we're gonna set up the UI and we're gonna hook up all of our UI elements, establish communication from the model to the view controller through delegation. And we're gonna display lists of videos as just basic text labels. In lesson five, we're gonna work on the video cell to download and display the thumbnail. And we're gonna to have to do some formatting of the date that comes back from the YouTube API so that we can display it in a friendly and pretty format. In lesson six, we're gonna work on the detailed view controller so the user can choose a video and they can actually watch it from within the app. At this point, you have a working YouTube app that displays videos and plays videos from a playlist. However, there are a couple of additional features that will be available to CWC Plus subscription members. We're going to be able to add a tab bar so that we can have a couple of different screens maybe talking about the YouTuber profile, having a subscribe button, which requires uh, authentication and a deeper YouTube API integration. We're also going to allow customization of the channel and the playlists via a configuration file. Now, just a little bit about CWC Plus. This is our paid membership program where you can access all of our premium training for one low monthly fee. You can find out more information about it in the description below or visit codewithchris.com courses. 
I hope you're as excited about this as I am. The features I listed are just the start. If there's a certain feature that you would like to see, look at the description below the video for instructions on how to submit feature and tutorial requests. Now I want to turn it over to you. Out of all of the skills that I mentioned that you'll be learning, which one do you anticipate the most? Let me know by leaving a quick comment below. And lastly, if you're excited about app development like I am, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss the next video. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lesson.